The countdown to the start of the 2023 National Senior Certificate Examinations has begun with more than 900,000 candidates from different parts of the country expected to sit for the uh, end of the year exams as of the 30th of October. Many would ask themselves if the candidates, the Department of Education and parents and all the relevant stakeholders are ready for this year's exams. Bahai Tudumela and good evening. My name is Tambo Mulukwani. Welcome to this edition of Soweto Today. Tonight we discuss symmetric exam readiness from all uh, perspectives, you know, as it is less than three days before the commencement of the exams. Now joining us via Zoom for the conversation is the Department of Education spokesperson Steve Mabona uh, and in studio we have Victor Maimele who is the head of the Tembisa School Governing Body. Uh, gentlemen, thanks very much for joining us this evening. Much appreciated, Mr. Vic. Thank you very much, Dr. Muluka. And when I believe we've got uh, Steve Mabona who is the spokesperson for uh, the Harteng Department of Education who's also joining us via Zoom. But uh, Mr. Maimela, I want to begin with you. Um, you know, let's talk about uh, just the general challenges that you've been having at schools. I mean, uh, exams now are three days away. And, uh, you know, we're seeing the department coming in saying that, look, we are going to uh, we are ready for the exams, um, you know, for this year. But what has been the major challenge, you know, for the school governing body and the school environment? Firstly, thank you for the opportunity of giving to me. All I was going to say, and I'm still going to say, it will be based on the policy, which is South African School Act 84 of 1996. Nothing else, nothing more. When we read on it, Section 15, uh, state the status of the core of the school. So which means the governing body of which majority are the parents uh, is, is, is making the stakeholder called school governing board. But the Houting Department of Education, they're making it more difficult. They are taking us back to Act 47 of 1953, mm. before 1996. How? I'll explain to you. We've got more than eight schools around Zone 15, Ivory Park, including Ekrulen North, being Tembisa. Most of these schools, they are not stable. Why? Because of the principals. Either there's no principal, either there's supposed to be a principal. That's where these things started to be destabled. Secondly, the school governing body, particularly parents, they've been withdrawn their functions and the finances. Mm. All of these schools, if based on the allegation, mere allegations, so learning and teaching is not taking place because we as parents, as governors, we are not there to hold the managers and the manage, uh, management accountable. In a meeting situation, the first item of the school governing board is about the curriculum. So where is those uh, reports going to be, whereas there's no school governing board? The schools that are running illegal and deliberately by the Department of, of Education. They know about this and they are just continuing. As we're speaking now, I'm coming from two of the schools, namely Shugumani Primary School in, in Tembisa, Egrelli North, and there's this other school, Tutuka, Tutuka Primary School. The issue there again is the conflict between the governing body and the, the principal. Once the governing body being the parents, when they raise the concern, the genuine concern about their children, they've been withdrawn, their functions. As simple as that. Until mm. we challenge this uh, thing uh, with, the, with the law, it's not going to stop. We are trying by all means, we've got a lot and lot of engagement, letters and promises, but nothing is happening. As we're speaking now, we have, we have we written a letter as an association to the MEC, to the HOD. We have given them three days, of which the three days is ending up today, you mm. see. So failing to respond to, to our grievances or our concerns, I doubt when we say we are ready on the examinations. I don't promise anything because we as parents, we are no longer taking it mm. and we are not going to take back. Mr. Victor, let me pocket that. Let me bring in the spokesperson for the Harting uh, Department of Education, Steve Mabona, who's joining us via Zoom there. Uh, Steve, thanks very much for taking the time. I mean, uh, we've heard uh, the media briefing uh, by the MEC. They're just talking about uh, the uh, readiness of the uh, NSC exams for the province. Maybe just take us through uh, the preparation and also, um, uh, you know, where are you in terms of the numbers?
Steve, um, unfortunately, I can't hear you. I'm not sure if you've been muted uh, there, but uh, maybe let's try to uh, fix you up. Yeah. Thank, thank you very much, Tavo. I'm just... Yeah. Steve, uh, I'm not sure you're breaking up a, a, a bit there, but... And uh, levels. I mean, those that we thought yeah. that they might be not doing well, those that we think that they will be probably they are just average, and those that are top flyers. So we had to take them to camps, and uh, we are ending actually uh, this week with the process of um, camps. On Monday, uh, so all system goes. We have um, partnered with our uh, security sector to make sure that our paper is uh, safe in terms of delivery, you know, safekeeping. And um, looking at the load shedding, we have encouraged our schools to have uh, backup generators. Uh, most of them do have. Those that don't have, we will be assisting them to rent out generators. And um, we have in, actually appointed the markers already. And uh, the moderators and the vigilators, they went through the process of development that is training. Uh, they are ready, they know what to do, what to expect. We have already signed the pledges, you know, by the learners and all the stakeholders. Learners were reminded not to cheat not to bring cell phones in the exam center, not to be late, not to come there drunk or under influence of any substance, because that would lead into them being nullified or not being allowed in the exam center. Those that will be cheating, they will not be resulted. So they are aware on what is it that they were signing. They did sign the pledge to say they're not going to engage in anything that is going to compromise the examination. Anything that is going to compromise the integrity of the examination will not be tolerated, and they are quite aware of that. Mm. I, mean, I mean, Steve, you know, I wanted to ask you about, uh, as the department, how do you mitigate uh, some of the challenges that are being faced at various schools uh, with the politics that is happen that, 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 that's happening in schools? Uh, you know, as a department, obviously, sometimes there's quarrel between the SGB and principals and stuff. So how do you deal with it, uh, particularly as now it's the time for examinations? It's all about uh, those learners there in schools. No, parents need to understand that now this is the time when we, all of us need to sub, you know, support our children. Um, we need to make sure that uh, learners are supported uh, those that are supposed to be studying at home, they must not be disturbed. Let's not send them, you know, wherever. Let's, you know, eliminate the home chores. And at school, I mean, SGP plays a significant role in making sure that learners are ready. Um, we don't need bubbles. We don't need anything that is going to destabilize the running of the school now because it's quite a key, you know, moment where we need everyone to work together and make sure that we don't compromise the examination. Because these learners went through a lot. They experienced COVID. They were at grade nine when we were you know, hit by COVID. So this is their first examination besides prelim. Uh, you know, the, the preliminary examination that they wrote in September, now they are going for the final. So <clears throat> looking at the performance, you know, during September, we are we are comforted that we might be doing well. Okay, Steve, I want us to park it there. For now, we're going to take a quick ad break. Uh, when we come back, we look at some of the challenges that are faced uh, by, uh, you know, as uh, we've been hearing that uh, some of these young people uh, were challenged. I mean, they were doing grade nine uh, when COVID hit there. Uh, we'll just uh, get a sense of how they are feeling and also just to get an understanding of their preparations. Let's take a quick ad break. We're coming back with more on the other side. 
Welcome back. You're still watching Soweto Today. Now, before the ad break, uh, you know, uh, we touched on some of the uh, uh, metric uh, readiness by the department then getting a sense of the SGB. But before we continue with our discussion, we know that learners generally face challenges throughout the year. Now, with uh, metric exams coming up, uh, you know, we took uh, to the streets uh, to ask some of the matriculants what challenges they are facing and, uh, you know, how they are feeling. And, uh, you know, uh, they did speak to Soweto today uh, saying that, uh, look, we are facing various challenges. Let's take a listen to this. Because most of the time, I understand the our I understand how to we how to how do we study? So most of the time, none of the are procrastinating. But after after June exam, they overcome because they distraction because they are distraction. They are distraction the phone. They are friends. So they to make sure they are sideways. The my challenge is normal. The challenge is I'm going to the school level. So yeah. But then, These days, these children use drugs. They smoke. They do all funny things. They, should, for the fact that uh, they'll be starting, they have to focus so that they can get better results. Yeah. Thanks to the team there for bringing us those uh, voxies from uh, uh, various learners there uh, in Soweto and other areas there and also one of the teachers who did uh, speak to us there. Uh, Mr. Vic, let me bring it to you. We've got uh, Victor Maimela who is an SGB member there in Timbisa. Uh, uh, Mr. Victor, you heard what uh, the learners are saying, you know, various challenges. Some of them are saying that, look, uh, you know, we did struggle a bit when it comes to uh, resources uh, throughout the year and stuff, but now it is the time to go out there and then sit and then write our final paper there. Uh, what do you make of, uh, you know, what they said and then looking at the uh, readiness of, 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 of just uh, the province in general? No, I like their spirit because remember, in a war, you have to soldier on irrespective of whether it's raining, it's cold, it's windy, it's sunny. The fact of the matter, we need to address these small Anyana foxes. You see, there's this say to say, when a leader cannot address a problem, a problem becomes a leader, and a, a leader becomes a problem. This is what we are facing. But now, we are no longer there, and we haven't passed that stage. Now we are focusing only on matriculant. And I hear uh, the, the spokesperson, Mr. Steve, he's talking about the, the COVID. What about this other one we are coming? How long are we going to keep on talking about the COVID? Because now the great, the great uh, 11, they are coming for uh, 2024. And we are talking about uh, COVID. Let's forget about COVID. Let's just do the basics. The basics is that let each and every stakeholder play its role without no interference of conflict of interest. That's all we're asking. We don't need a lot of things. There's laws which are not followed. Hence, I've, I've quoted, the South African School Act, Section 16, Section 16, capital letter A. It's to support, to support, to support. You can't do it alone, and you'll never win with these things. But what they're trying to do here, uh, they're all over the show to say everything is okay, and everything's ready, this is not the time to, to squabble and everything like that. But it's not a true statement, I think. It's, it's, it's a lie. Because there are a lot and lot of problems, and these problems, they are piling up. When are they going to be faced and then sorted out? Because we as parents, we as communities, we are complaining. We are not mm. happy. And the problem is the Department of Kauteng, of Education, they are interfering with the schools and with the school governing board, particularly parents. How so are they interfering, if I may ask? Okay, let me say this to you. Once a principal at a school can raise a complaint or a concern about the SGB. Believe you me, those, those poor parents, it's done, it's finished. 
They are going to withdraw their functions. They are going to withdraw their, their recruitments. They are going to withdraw their, their functions of uh, finances. That's how they are dealing with the parents. Yet we say the principal is there as a representative of the HOD to support, to guide the parents to perform their duties and to comply with, 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 the, with the laws. Mr. Victor, you know, I don't want to deviate more on uh, what we're talking about because we are really focusing on okay. the exams. metric exams. But I believe Steve is aware of some of the challenges that you have raised, particularly looking at the okay. squabbles. He did touch on it saying that, look, we're trying by all means to, uh, you know, try to deal with these issues. Okay. Uh, but he will uh, definitely touch on them as uh, he is listening uh, to what you're saying. But uh, Steve, I mean, you touched on various issues saying that, uh, you know, uh, schools will be assisted, particularly as we know that as a country we are facing power cuts and stuff for the exams. But I want us to touch on the issue of learner suicides. You know, um, uh, we've seen quite an increase this year. Um, uh, what are we doing at present ahead of these exams? Because mental health is, 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 is a serious problem. Yeah, this time around when we were signing our pledge, there was actually an element of uh, mental health, uh, you know, where we were encouraging learners actually to reach out to anyone if they need assistance, especially those that are prone to commit suicide. We have a child learn number 116. That number is free, 116. Dial that number. There are professionals that we have partnered with. They are in a position to can guide you. You know, if you are not doing well, you feel that you are depressed, there's anxiety, you call that number, they will be in a position to take you through the process of uh, managing whatever you're going through as a candidate so that you then prepare for your examination. We know that some will be cross nighting, some will be, you know, taking it overdrive, but you need to rest. After studying, you need to rest. You need to make sure that you, you are not uh, dehydrated, hydrate, uh, uh, drink a lot of water, and make sure that you are healthy. Because if you underestimate some of these things, you might complicate in the exam center or in the exam room. So you need to be wary of those and be disciplined and know that uh, there's time to be mindful of. Uh, time yourself and make sure that you will be in a position to write everything that is needed that will make sure that you are passing. Um, I, I want us to pocket the gentleman. We're going to continue this discussion. I mean, I want us now, since we've highlighted some of the challenges that are happening particularly, uh, and also the work that is being done uh, to make sure that uh, these learners are, you know, ready for the national exams. Uh, I hope that uh, we'll come up with solutions on now what happens next, as we know that, uh, uh, you know, the exams are upon us. And, you know, um, obviously, uh, ultimately, it's all about uh, these learners. I want us to take a quick ad break. When we come back, we continue with Mr. Victor, uh, Maimele there, and uh, Steve Mabona, just to conclude the conversation. Do stay with us. Welcome back. You're still watching Soweto Today. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. My name is Tabo Molokwane. We are wrapping up our conversation on the readiness of the metric learners uh, for the upcoming uh, exams. Still joining us uh, for this conversation is the Houting Department of Education spokesperson Steve Mabona and head of Timbisa School Governing Body, Victor Maimele, who's joining us in studio. Um, uh, Mr. Vic, let me just uh, bring you to this discussion. I know that uh, you're not happy about okay. certain okay. things, but uh, you know, we've spoken about the challenges, we've okay. spoken about uh, um, various issues that need uh, you know, to be addressed by the Houting Department of Education. Uh, you know, not only the NSC examinations, but also just general challenges in schools. Um, what would you want to see happening, you know, as we move ahead? Now, learners uh, will be sitting, uh, you know, in, in, in those tables uh, yeah. next week. They will be writing uh, their final examinations. As an SGB member, the support that you will be providing to the schools that you, uh, from your community. Uh, the only thing I will appreciate the learners throughout whatever they went and now we need to do is just to reduce and support and support and support them and calm them down. Uh, remember this uh, few couple of days, 
they are a little bit nervous, uh, they will be settled as they are going, but all we need to do is just to support them, educators, everybody, the whole team and the whole system. It's about support, 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 mm. nothing else. And also we need to reduce or completely to stop to give them a lot of works and everything. Let them focus on their, their examination and to refresh themselves and then let them have a lot of time to relax and rest. In terms of government, what is it that you would want to see as uh, the department will be doing in your communities? No, the department, they are uh, 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 on top of the, the, the ball, they are hands on. The support they're trying to give, it, they need to do more and better. But they do, they do not need to start late. They need to start from the beginning of the year, of which is what they're trying to do, even though somewhere, somehow there's some recaps and everything like that. So the issue of it camps, they need to be continuously, yeah. not towards uh, the examination. Mm. That is what we expect. Thank you. Steve, uh, let me bring you, as we close the conversation, I mean, what advice would you give to the parents and community members as far as showing support to the matriculants, uh, you know, uh, for the examinations? You heard Mr. Victor saying that, look, uh, uh, you know, in the long run, let's try to have these camps uh, throughout the year so that, uh, you know, these learners um, uh, should be better prepared. No, well, from where we are sitting, the issue of the camps, we identify schools which will then be deserving. You know, in a, different, in a district, we might take uh, probably a few schools, not all of them, because during the year, schools will also do their own programs, meaning that on an, each and every weekend, there will be an activity at the school. But then we also then take those that we need to take them to residential camps, take them there, and make sure that we, you know, impart knowledge in terms of us using our subject advisors, because they will, will be there probably for a year or a week or two. That is uh, working with the, with those learners. So we have identified in different districts, different schools, not all of them. Steve, thanks very much for joining us. Semester Victor, uh, Maymele, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, we wish them well as they will be writing their final examinations there. Uh, spokesperson for the Houteng Department of Education, that's Steve Mabona and Victor Maymele, who is the head of the Tembisa School Governing Body, discussing the readiness of the matriculants ahead of the upcoming um, uh, rather um, examinations uh, there. Well, before we close in the show, uh, let's hear from some of the learners and some of the people that we spoke to about uh, the exam readiness before uh, we uh, conclude uh, this uh, uh, episode. I'm ready, but I'm not 100% sure ready. Why are you not 100%? Because being honest, like, like, I didn't prepare like as much as like some other learners do. Yeah, next I skill most of the time. Yeah, but I can say some somehow I'm ready. Yeah. They should do a hard working, you understand? Because of Ako is going to go exam room without any knowledge. Bono Suzuki, okay, your palangani, greedy, and away good near pala or young son Pesinja. And you know, looking at how much and talk, would you say they are ready for the upcoming exam? Yeah, I mean, I should say, read more than case much, I look by Lean to lazy as you call is over next year. More colors of you are understand. My mm. land state a statement to the view are none of you palos of you are. Yeah, we certainly wish them well as they will be writing their final examinations. On that note, that's how we wrap it up for today's episode of Soweto Today. Remember, we love hearing from you, so please feel free to talk to us about this episode by simply sending us an email at Soweto Today at SowetoTV.co.za. Alternatively, call us, WhatsApp us, the number 081-531-8857. From myself, Tabo Mulukwani, and the rest of the team, Mas Chabakobal is up next with your primetime news. Thank you for watching and good evening. <laughs>